Many of us agree that God loves us. But how much does he love? Does he love me even after I have disobeyed him? Even if I have done things that have dishonored him? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This book, uh, The Prodigal God, was written by Timothy Keller and it answered these questions for me. I hope it does the same to you as well. This book is about a parable which Jesus had told. The parable of the prodigal son. But wait, did Jesus give that title? No, he didn't. And was only the younger son lost? Well, the story goes like this. There was a man who had two sons. The younger son one day came up to him and said, I want my share of the possession. In those days, when someone asks for his share of the possession, when the father is still alive, it is a great dishonor to the father. It was as if you wished that he was dead. Yet the father gave him the money. He went to a faraway land where he spent his money lavishly and soon lost all of them. Then there was famine in the land and he was broke. No one would give him any job. He then went to a pigsty and worked there. Again in those days, Jews detested pigs and only someone who had stooped down so low would agree to a job like that. And he was hungry and wanted to eat what the pigs ate. He was denied even that. Then he came to his senses and realized that even the servants in his father's household had food to spare. So he decided to go back to his father. He then prepared a speech to ask for forgiveness, requesting to be accepted as one of his servants. But while he was a long way away, the father saw him. He then runs to him. Again in those days, people who were Middle Eastern patriarchs wore long robes and they never ran. Children may run, women may run, young men may run, but not the owner of an estate. Imagine him holding up his robes in his hands and running towards his son. The son tried to say his speech, which he had rehearsed. But the father said, quickly bring the best robe in the house. That should have been his robe. It signified that you are already my son. You don't have to work your way to become one. He then gave him a ring and sandals. He also said, kill the fattened calf, let's have a feast. Those days meat is reserved for special occasions and a fattened calf would mean the entire village was invited. The father threw a big party. Well, how could the father forgive just like that? How is it just that the son who spent all his riches now comes back and be accepted. Enter the elder brother. Well, he didn't enter. He stood outside refusing to enter the house. The thought that his brother who had spent all the family money now comes home and is accepted enraged him. But the father comes out of the house to speak to him. Notice that the father comes out to meet both the elder brother and the younger brother. He said, I have always worked for you. You never gave me even a goat for a party. Then the father says, My son, all I have is yours. But this is your brother who was lost and now is found. Will you keep standing outside and dishonor me? To understand this better, we need to know what was happening as Jesus was telling this parable. Jesus used to hang out with tax collectors and people who were termed sinners in those days. The Pharisees and scribes who were religious people 
complained regarding this and to them he tells the story wait does that make sense now there are two types of people the younger son who are a people who outwardly reject god and dishonor him to the face and the other group the elder son who religiously follow everything god says yet in their heart are far away from him when they meet god's generosity they rebel against him god comes in search of both the elder brother and the younger brother he meets them outside the house and invites them to the party we see in this parable that the elder son refuses to accept the father's acceptance of the younger son what should a true elder son have done a true elder son should have seen his father hurting every day as the younger son had left home he should have come and said father let me go and search for my brother and bring him home well we do have an elder brother who came in search of us and that is jesus himself he came into this world and died on the cross that he would take it upon himself the price that would bring us back to the father grace is never free it costed the life of jesus according to the merriam webster's collegiate dictionary the word prodigal does not mean wayward but recklessly spent thrift that is spending till you have nothing left so this actually describes the love the father had for the son and this is what the father has for each one of us who come back to him he gives his all and he gave his only son to die on the cross for you and for me he loved me even when i dishonored him and wished him dead so my friend it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter how low you have fallen there is no evil that the father's love cannot pardon and cover there is no sin that is a match for his grace god's arms will always be wide open and he runs towards you as he sees you coming back hope this video helped you understand a bit more of god's love subscribe to listen to similar content thank you for watching see you in the next one